We are at Athletic Movement Protocol in Syosset, Long Island, where New York Yankees pitcher CeCe Sabathia does his off-season training. Today, we're going to get a chance to see one of CeCe's workouts, and I'm going to have the opportunity to do his workout with him. Now, I know CeCe is maybe a little bit bigger than I am, but I'm pretty sure I can give him a run for his money. Gotta get up, I gotta get up, move. Gotta get up, I gotta get up, move. Gotta get up, I gotta get up, move. Na, 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 na. What's interesting with Matt is that he just turned 37 years old, right? So as you get older, you have to kind of change your workouts as you age to protect your joints. You're doing things differently than you did when you were 25 years old. And he's really mm -hmm. taken that into account. Um, what I like to see is that he's doing a lot of kind of non-traditional baseball exercises like the farmer's carries and the sled push, full body explosive exercises. And it's not traditional baseball exercise, but they do really translate in that they give you a lot of explosive explosiveness from the ground, the rotational forces get going, and, and it's just very adaptable to what you would do on a baseball field. Baseball players, obviously, they're athletes, right? So you have to do a workout that builds general athleticism, that builds strength, that builds mobility, that builds power, and then you have to take it down to these small baseball skills. For Corey, it's obviously doing a lot of throwing. The same thing as the UCL in your elbow, resist valgus stress. And when you bend your thumb back, like you would when you slide into second base or you catch it on the dirt, you can tear that UCL. And it's the same kind of thing. Dr. Stephen Shin is a really great hand surgeon at Curlin Job in Los Angeles. He fixed um, Andleton Simmons' thumb with the internal brace method last year. Oh, wow. Without the internal brace, it's a two to three month rehab. With the internal brace, they say six to eight weeks. And Simmons started his rehab assignment at four weeks and was back in like five and a half. He's done, um, they confirmed, Billy Epler said that Trout had the internal brace okay. uh, in his thumb, so they're hoping he's going to be on that same reduced timeline that Simmons was on. I had this really interesting conversation with Chase Headley last week, third baseman for the Yankees, and he was just talking about how Arenado and Machado are able to make plays that he could never dream of making as a third baseman because he just doesn't have the arm strength, whereas Arenado and Machado can take super steep angles to, to ground balls and throw off balance, not have to worry about where they are, throw with their arm just completely across the field. Chase Headley can't do that. He has to take a more conservative route so he can plant and throw the ball because if you make the play and you can't make the throw, it doesn't make a difference. So Machado Machado and Arenado are just really bringing the defense to a new level because of that arm strength. It's a tweaky little muscle. You think that you feel good, you pass the test on the trainer's table, but they really can't duplicate the effort. And then you get out there and you start taking your cuts or throwing again and you feel the little twinge again. And if you don't stop, you're going to end up right back where you started. So it does end up being a longer injury. We really started seeing these a lot in 2011. Evan Longoria was the one who brought it to the forefront right. and that took him 28 days to come back. Joe Madden is known as the father of the modern shift. When he was with the Angels, he started doing it against Ken Griffey, who was a lefty pole hitter. He got the job in Tampa in 2008 with the AL East, with David Ortiz, Mark Teixeira, Chris Davis, a lot of heavy pole hitters. And he used the shift prolifically all the time. Now that he's with the Cubs, only one team in baseball, the Marlins, is shifting less. David Wright has had a lot of back problems. He was diagnosed with spinal stenosis in May of 2015. It, it, that's a narrowing of your spinal column, which puts pressure on your spinal nerves. You can have uh, pain, um, weakness that results from the, from the nerve damage. It's usually something that happens in people over 50, so it was very unique in that respect. It's also compounded by the fact that baseball, you have so much axial rotation when you hit, right? And you're generating a ton of force. Your spine is your vertebrae are stacked up on top of each other like this, and they do really well bending forward and backwards. They don't stand up very well to that torque. A new study was done by ASMI. That's um, the research wing of Dr. Andrew's practice down in Birmingham. And the thought with a lot of big league pitching coaches who are afraid of these things is that the stress on your arm is too much when you throw a heavy ball. And Matt loves this. I'm going to throw some Newton at him, right? Ahead, Force equals mass times acceleration, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have a heavier ball okay. and you can't throw it as fast, the mass times the acceleration is lower. The forces in your arm actually go down as the ball gets heavier. So used properly, they're not unsafe. You're not generating enough force to really blow up your arm by throwing these heavy balls. Yeah, all and this surgery is, is actually not a very big deal. They go in there. Uh, one of the doctors described it to me as like the game you play with the claw, and they just take the, use the claw Which is to a remove scam. the loose body. Yeah. It is a scam. <laughs> that's, that's an unwinnable game. I've spent millions trying to get that little stuffed animal out of there. Yeah. yeah but probably more than the Yankees spent on this shoulder surgery because it wasn't a big deal. Possibly. I had gone out to do a, a story on a tennis player when I was working at ESPN Magazine, and Grandpa was always really up on where I was, and I came 
came back and he read the story in the magazine and he, I, I walked into the house and he was pointing at it, looking at it. <laughs> this kid, this kid is really handsome. You should date him. And I said, Grandpa, I can't date him. He dates a swimsuit model. And without missing a beat, he said, you got swimsuits. And he was <laughs> right. I, I do, in fact, have swimsuits.